Oh, the Things We're For by Inosanto Nagara. When you go to a march and raise your sign high, you'll make people smile who thought you were shy. And you'll make people wonder, does that kid really know why? You do know, of course, that's why you are there. You're there to say no because you do care. You're there to say stop, what's happening's not fair. We can't keep doing what we're doing the way it's been done. We can't keep using it, moving it, running it how it's been run. Standing together, that's how things can be won. So yes, you do know what's up and why you are there, but that's not the big question, at least not for me. It's not folks who don't know or just disagree. It's folks who want to be with us, but feel that they just, that they simply just can't see. Folks who say we want to resist, we're on the same page, our problems are serious, that's easy to see. Destruction must stop, we can't let it be. Stop polluting and poisoning and cheating and stealing. No one likes dictators or violence or kids going hungry and poverty. Stop war. But okay, then what are you for? Oh, what are we for? That is my favorite question, and I'm sure it's yours too, because you pay attention. You have so many answers and so many options and so many solutions that you want to impart. The only hard question is where does one start? We have to start somewhere, so let's take a pick. Take something we all do. We all get sick. We get wheezy and sneezy and snuffly noses. We get headaches and tummy aches and sometimes throw up. So we sip some hot soup and we get a good rest and soon we feel better and back to our best. But sometimes being sick is harder than that. The nurses may say we need more than just rest. The doctors may want to give us a test. Perhaps they'll tell us to get an x-ray. It might even mean a hospital stay. And when there's a virus that starts to one run wild, more people get sicker, though some cases are mild. But so many sickies mean so many meds, and not enough nurses, and not enough beds. But then we are asked, who's going to pay? Sadly, the answer is pretty not funny when companies decide to make all their money, deciding who gets cared for and who does not, depending on cash you put in their pot. So if you have means, you get care that you need. But if you don't, well, you're in trouble indeed. So here's an idea that we can all share. We all do our part and put in what's fair. And then when we need it, we have access to care. So health care for all is a thing that we're for. Should I go on, continue this tour? No problem, for sure. We all know now that the climate's a changing. The earth is a-warmin' and the sea level's rising. The ice shelves are melting, which is not all surprising, since science was warning that the globe will keep warming, if we keep burning the stuff we've been burning. But is there an answer? Some people may ask. Why, yes, you say, if we're up to the task. Look up, you exclaim. What do you see? A huge ball of plasma, clean energy for free. So instead of drilling and spilling and, let's be honest, even killing for dirty, dead dino goop that should stay in the ground, let's embrace the sun and wind and earth. Nature's power will always abound. If anyone's still not sure what you mean, what we can change so our future is green, well, it starts with committing to making it real, working together to seal a new deal. Wow, they say. Universal health care, they say. Solar energy? Such big things for a kid. Okay, that's cool. But shouldn't you be focused on kids' things, like playdates in school? School and play? Why, yes. On that you have much to say. We learn more with more recess and time to eat lunch. Much smaller classes we can't learn in a crunch. If we memorize and drill and are taught to be tested, real thinking does not get invested. Critical minds can't flourish that way. And speaking of teaching, our teachers need much better pay. We need schools that are safe. We need freedom to range. We need libraries and sports. We need cultural exchange. We need music and arts to fill our brains and our hearts. We should be seen as whole people with many different kinds of smarts. 
There are so many ideas upon which we can call for a free and fair and public education for all. But let's get more personal. Let's talk about we. Let's talk about you. Let's talk about me. Let's talk about us and the many, many ways we can be. Let's celebrate the splendor of spectrums of gender. Let's recognize and value the many hues of our skin. The many languages we speak are many lands of origin to whom one may pray, with whom one shares love, the diverse ways our minds work, our bodies we're proud of, to those who have always been here on whose land we now tread, those who dare speak up, those who act quietly instead. But let's also be clear that harm has been done. Futures were stolen by sword and by gun. We can't flip a switch and say that we're there. A history of injustice takes more to repair. To balance the scales, we must reclaim what they stole and do the hard work to make us all whole. Making us whole. That's really the theme. It's not as difficult as it may seem. Lock them up, they say. Throw away the key. That's the quick fix that some want to see. But let's take a moment and take a close look. Who gets locked up? Where? How? And why? You'll see there's a problem that one can't deny. A pattern of how the judgments we face are different for each based on money and race. And even if things were quote-unquote fair, and those doing time quote-unquote deserve to be there, is putting humans in cages the best we can do? In 10,000 years have we learned nothing new? We have, of course, and that's the good news. There are much better options from which we can choose. Lift up the idea that we dispose of no one, we're each of us more than our worst, worst act. There's no panacea and work must be done. Liberation's for all of us, or else it's for none. Speaking of work, we've got ideas there too. Things we can change, things we can do. So many people work hard, hard for their pay, but hardly make ends meet at the end of the day. And as if just working wasn't hard, hard enough, they're all alone when, thing, when the going gets rough. There are so many ways that these things can be tough, we don't even have room to list all of that stuff. But suffice it to say, there's many a way where workers have rights and workers have sway. Where we work with each other in union as one, or better yet, in co-ops for fairness and fun. And when our rights come under attack, we will know who's got our back. Okay, I know, this is a lot, but hey, they asked. So they get what you got. They open the door for solutions galore. When they asked you, what are you for? Maybe they'd hoped for something lighthearted, but you, my friend, are just getting started. So as you can see, there's much to be done, much to be fixed, and much to be run. But having to do stuff isn't so bad. Let's roll up our sleeves and do something rad. Let's shout out solutions from C to C. Let's yell our, out our favorites. I hope you'll join me. To you, these ideas are never a bore. You've already shared many and have many, 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 oh, so, so many, many more. When you care for the world as much as you do, creating solutions is oh, so, so you. Of course, not all solutions are the best they can be, and on some things we may disagree. But it all starts with caring and agreeing to sharing, a radical act if we are daring. But this is all stuff that you already know. You're ready to go. You're ready to soar. You're ready to start and you're ready to roar. So off now, let's go. Let us start working. Let us start building the future we're for. <laughs>